already from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 7, verses 23 to 28. Here is the nation that will not listen to the voice of the Lord its God. These were my orders. Listen to my voice, then I will be a God and you shall be my people. Follow right to the end the way that I mark out for you and you will prosper. But they did not listen. They did not pay attention. They followed the dictates of their own evil hearts, refused to face me and turn their backs on me. From the day your ancestors came out of the land of Egypt until today, day after day, I have persistently sent you all my servants, the prophets. But they have not listened to me, have not paid attention. They have grown stubborn and behaved worse than their ancestors. You may say all these words to them. They will not listen to you. You may call them. They will not answer. So tell them this. Here is the nation that will not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, nor take correction. Sincerity is no more. It has vanished from their mouths. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsoral Psalm Oh, that today you listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, ring out your joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Response Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for He is our God and we the people who belong to His pasture, the flock that is led by His hand. Response O oh, that today you would listen to His voice, harden not your hearts. As at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Response O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Gospel Acclamation Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Shake off all your sins. It is the Lord who speaks and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 11, verses 14 to 23. Jesus was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. But when the devil had gone out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed. But some of them said, It is through Belzebub, the prince of devils, that he casts out devils. Others asked him as a test for a sign from heaven. But knowing what they were thinking, he said, to them. Every kingdom divided against itself is heading for ruin, and a household divided against itself collapses. So too with Satan, if he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Since you assert that it is through Belzebul, that I cast out devils. Now, if it is through Belzebul 
that I cast out devils through whom do your own experts cast them out? Let them be your judges then. But if it is through the finger of God that I cast out devils, then know that the kingdom of God has overtaken you. So long as a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he is attacks and defeats him, the stronger man takes away all the weapons he relied on and shares out his spoil. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the works of Jesus are spirit-filled. They come through the Father. The works of Jesus are understood to those who are filled with the Spirit of God. The believers believe in the signs of God immediately because they have faith and they trust in God. People who do not have faith will have many questions. How does it happen? Can it ever happen? That is the difference between the people of faith and those without faith. When Jesus casts out a dumb evil from an innocent man, the man begins to speak. People should be very happy that a miracle has happened. A man among us who was unable to speak here is now able to speak. He is able to praise God. He is able to communicate with us. Rather than being happy, we are sad and we question. How can this happen? Who can do it? Oh, God cannot. It is Satan's work. It is Belzebul's work. So the good work of Jesus, they attribute it as evil work to him. That it is Satan's work. It is Belzebul's work. This is how the people who do not have faith calculate the goodness of God. Similarly, in our lives, we experience such evil things. When we do lot of good to people, yet lot of evil and hatred comes on our way. We are not accepted. People do not want us. When we do good, many people like us then there are many who build up enmity with us. So my dear friends, this is the season of proclaiming God's love, revealing what is good in us to people, doing acts of charity, being communicating, or communicating daily with God and with one another, showing love, concern, and affection. Let us continue doing good. Let the whole world know that we are Christians by our love. Amen.